Good morning, it's Friday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity that is Ken Shaving and BSing, home of your original Big Shave Best Champion. And this morning, we've got some product features for you. One request and one new product arrival. As you know, Phoenix Shaving just released the two new plates for the Starling Gem Style Razor. If you recall originally, it came with an A and a B plate. Your A plate was supposed to be very pretty mild. Your B plate was to be more aggressive and not just a step, but about two steps more aggressive. Now they didn't have, well it has little kind of mini holders here. And I'm checking something. Okay. So these were your original plates and they were, as I drop one, I'm always dropping something, you know, it's just how it is. So your A and your B plates, original and then Further on, of course, there was a little B indicator and an A indicator. Yeah, there we go. So what they did was they came up with two new plates based on feedback. Because you can call these A and B plates effectively an alpha and a beta. You have the purple plate. Now, they, the finish here, they're not all like this, but mine didn't come with the finished top nubs but that's okay you don't see them when they're in the razor and then they came up with an open comb in green there is no a or b on them but to show you how this works the purple goes in between the a and the b plate so it's a the uh, split so one step higher two steps higher in aggression or efficiency and then the open comb all together which I don't exactly know where it fits, but I tell you what, let's start with the open comb and let's find out together. So we're gonna get that loaded up in a second. Had a request to do Boomtown Bay Rum, which I will be happy to do. It's a leather gunpowder in West Indian Bay with no clove, barrel age finished. Love this scent, loved it from the first sniff at Big Shave East. Shout out to South Florida Wet Shavers. Just an amazing bay rum scent. PAA is where bay rum is at, in my opinion. After, you know, just running into some others, it, Doug was a fan of it, and I think he um, really makes an effort to give you the best bay rum product, scent smell-wise, out there. PTFE-coated gem blade from Connaught Shaving. So there are little, little holder notes here also to hold the blade back. And so what you do is you mount it like so. See if I can do this into the camera. Let's put the nubs there, lay it down, and there you have it. Put your top plate on, locks in. Now there is not the same, ah, there is a problem with loading these if you don't get it right. So note that it's not like a two piece, like my bullet tip. There we go. Now we're locked in. So you got to hold it in place, obviously. And then there you go. There's your blade exposure. There's a profile pick. If I can put it in the camera correctly. There we go. So, we're going to see how this goes. It's all aluminum. This is a V1 head, and there's no difference. V1 head and handle's the same. You just have the two new plates now as well. So, let's wet the face. Prep with the cube. You know, it wouldn't be a Ken Shavy and BS video without dropping something. All right. Well. Alright. Back from the gym, out of the shower, nice cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. Courtesy of Nick Trades, thank you very much. Alright, alright. Water in the cup. Brush today, another uh, Phoenix shaving product. The Green Ray with the 24 millimeter triple knot. Wet the brush, shake it out, get loaded. I like the, the Green Ray brush because the contouring at the bottom of the handle 
gives you a good uh, finger placement, so it's an easy hold for me as opposed to like a chubby style handle. Atomic Rocket has different, is larger but different contouring, but still length and grippability. I love that brush as well. If you have a question about either brush from Phoenix Shaving, you can't go wrong with either. Really depends on what knot size you want. Twelve ninety five. You're not gonna. You're not gonna find much better deal. You know, synthetic knot with a little bit of a throwback style handle. I'm taking this little bit of proto and rubbing it in too. All right, so let's paint on. It's a work Friday. I will put a link down below for, for Phoenix Shaving. In this case, since I'm using all Phoenix Shaving products, I'll put a link for Conod if you want to see the prices on a uh, on gem style razors, but bear with me if you watch this video before I get to work. I always have a couple of you that are early risers like I am on my work days to where I need, so I'll need to edit it. So if you're waiting for the link, either go there directly or just uh, just wait for the link. You'll be back. <laughs> you're my good brothers. Getting near that magic thousand mark. A lot of new subscribers. Thank you to all the new subscribers out there. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate the other viewers out there as well that take time to stop by and to see if I'm uh, something they care to continue or not. Now the, you gotta make sure you get the angle right, but the great thing about this, the Starling Razor, is the head sets you up for success with this uh, angle here. So it's pretty easy actually to find the angle, which is nice. So let's see uh, how this uh, how this blade feels. Alignment's good. We're good to go. All right, let's find out. Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty comfortable for sure, and doing a nice job. Definitely less than the B plate from what I recall using. But there is some, there's a little blade feel, and there is a little bit of aggression. I got a weeper going. So take your time. But there's not a heck of a lot of blade feel versus the, uh, the uh, B plate, which is nice, but it's still an open comb.
Really nice first pass. Yeah, really nice first pass. Back up a little soap here. Let's look some area down. Yeah, first pass is really doing a nice job with this open comb. You can get it on the nose nice and easy. Uh, rock it down. Okay, let's rinse off this first first little bit and peel around. Nice and smooth over here. I know expected to obviously be BBS and first pass, but Feels good. Let's uh, do let's get that second pass together and do my against, which is all usually my second pass. We won't shave any differently in pattern than we normally do. Let's get this second application of Boomtown Bay Rum on here. If you like the bay rum, but you want a little different note, the leather and the gunpowder in here as the main notes really bring bay rum masculine forward. Captain Smy's uh, leather and bay rum barrel age reserve, California reserve, uh, is uh, very close to this. There is a difference when you can pick up the gunpowder note. Well, they're similar. but still give you um, a little differences in theme. I have all three now. I have Atomic Age, I have uh, Boomtown, I have Classico Bay Rum, and I have the the uh, Barrel Aged Bay Rum, Leather and Bay Rum Reserve. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it's doing a great job with this open comb. It's it's efficient, but it's not like mad crazy or anything. See how the cap is? This is almost like a ride the cap angle because of the way it's made. Has little guards so you don't have to be as worried about the edges like in the previous model. They're not big guards like the gem, but they do, uh, they do come on, on the outside of the blade if you can look closely. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, but that guard is right there on the outside. So you don't be as worrisome like the previous model. So they took it took a lot into account. Douglas did. He took into account a lot of the feedback from the original release. I had some as much as many of the others.
Blade is super comfortable, by the way. Nice. Yeah, hang on, it's a little slickness in there. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice, really nice. A little closer than usual in my neck spots. You get a good audible feedback, I guess maybe from the aluminum, maybe it resonates a little. I do have a little weeper, because I haven't used this, it's only the third time I've used this razor in general. So I got a little weeper here. Slight under chin and a little blunt on my nose, but that's a little rush and a little bit of. I'll tell you though, I'm gonna do. I'm just staying with the two passes up here because this is really nice. Let's do a little more cleanup on the neck, so let's rinse. And let's uh, just uh, lather up the neck here. So I'm really liking where my passes are. Where my passes are in the uh, on the upper face and mustache and chin. Very pleased with that. So I may need to grow out a few days and remap my neck, but overall, I am very pleased with this shave. Two passes on the face with a little bit of buffing here and there. A pretty solid third on the neck just because that's pretty standard. All right, let's do an album block. Now I'm gonna get some feedback, so I'm already aware of this. But, I am nice and close on two passes. I know it was a I had to do a little work, and it's only the third time I've used the razor, to be honest, and the like, first two shaves are just excellent with it. Where's the alum all block off? Really liking this shave, I like, yeah, my cheeks look great. Yeah, all right, so let's do a little Thayer's Lemon, and then we'll put the Boomtown on once that dries down, and we'll recap. Actually, we'll talk about the razor. So, aluminum construction, three-piece. This was the uh, open comb plate. 
bit, of, little bit of blade feel, but nothing crazy for me. Um, <clears throat> right in a sweet spot. Two pass efficiency. I give it top marks. Um, ability ease of use. Once you learn that you need the, the cap position here, this angle is where you need to be. Super easy to use. Loading. Loading still takes, you gotta be a little careful with it because it's a three piece versus a two piece with the, with a clamshell, you know, style open. Um, so take your time with that, obviously. It can slip on you before, so make sure you hold it properly. But um, just take your time. It's not complicated, but it's not, it's not automatic. Pay attention, obviously. Handle length is always good. Weight is, is right where it needs to be. Um, just a, just a solid gym razor, a modern callback. ETFE coated gem saw blades are great. There's the uh, you know some of the most comfortable out there in your gem style market. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this shave. I don't feel the need to go over anywhere else. So <clears throat> the open comb isn't really long, so I don't know how much benefit you get from it versus a straight bar. Um, so mountain. I don't even know if you get close to this, you may just get a little extra, you know, keep a little extra um, uh, soap on or cream on your uh, face, but I've noticed it cleared off the areas pretty well. So I don't know about the open comb, if it's doing as well as it should, but I tell you, it delivered a very efficient shave without being, without being uh, super scrapey. My skin feels fine. I had some feedback, but I don't feel like I'm gonna be dry and coarse even after I use the rest of my uh, moisturizing products. Um, so, right now, this, yeah, top marks on efficiency. Um, great design, uh, some nice improvements to protect the edges from getting, because I know a, a person or two in my comments mentioned that they're worried about the edge of the blade. Well, that's it's been uh, changed a little. Overall, yeah, great job, Douglas. Great job. I'm proud I got it. I'm happy that I got the blade set. I'll be looking forward to using the purple plate in the next shave. So let's move on to our Boomtown Bay Rum. Nice. Oops, this one's Friday Bay rum all day, baby. Yeah, very nice, very nice. All right. Yeah, very pleased. Great job, Douglas. Um, great job on the design of the Starling. Yeah, I'd say, although the, the open comb, I can't tell you here or there if it did it with its intent, but I know it delivered a great shave, so I'm very pleased. Boomtown Bay Rum, also available, phoenixshaving.com. Links will be provided below once I get a chance to edit. Next shave will be the Starling with the purple plate. We go in between your A and your B plates from the original, the V1 release. So with that, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers, too sweet to good brothers and good sisters out there. Have a great weekend. I will see you Saturday or Sunday, depending. Uh, probably Saturday. Uh, next shave, so we'll use uh, we'll use this plate and we'll go from there. Bay Rum, great scent. Now, Boomtown Bay Rum, check it out if you're a Bay Rum fan. Or if you like leather notes and you want to try Bay Rum, get a sample. Can't go wrong, in my opinion. With that, thanks for watching as always. Too sweet. Like I said, love y'all. Take care. Thanks all new subscribers. Thanks for your comments, likes, dislikes. I love attention. No. All right. Y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.